for those who are less familiar with Hendrix, it was back in 1966 that the fourth generation of the, of the family, uh, Charles Gordon, went to an auction and bought two stills, two very, very rare stills. One was a Bennett still, there on the left, and the other in the middle is the Carterhead still, an exceedingly rare still from 1948. Both very, very rare stills, and at the time he had absolutely no idea what to do with them. And it was actually 33 years later when he tasked a young Leslie Gracie, now our wonderful master distiller, to create, as he put it, the quintessential English gin. And it was countless experiments later that became the infamous Hendrix Gin, which is oddly infused with rose and cucumber.